Hello and welcome back to part two of section one, two of geometry. Now let's complete the example problems together. Example one, length in metric units. Find the length of segment AB using each ruler. On the first ruler, our point A is on the zero centimeter mark, point B here is between three and four. Uh, there is no further mark, so the best uh, measurement we can get from this, the most at least accurate measurement we can get this, is to approximate to the nearest centimeter. So we will say that length AB is approximately equal to, uh, well, B is closer to the four than it is the three, so we're gonna say four centimeters. And the second one, we actually have, it looks like the millimeter marks. Let's double check, one, two, three, four, five, uh, and the same, yes. So though that's 10 ticks between each centimeter, that's the millimeters. So here we can now say that length AB equals uh, three point, that's five, is halfway, six and seven, so three point seven centimeters or 37 millimeters. Example two, length in standard units. Find length of segment CD using each ruler. So here now we are in inches. Uh, C is on the zero mark. D is here past the one inch mark, less than two. So let's count uh, how many between one and two is one, two, three, and then four places would take you to two. So that is means that the smallest mark uh, here is in fourths. So this would be one fourth more than one. So CD is one and a fourth inches. In ruler B, our C is on zero, D is net well, now there's a lot more tick marks. Uh, this uh, halfway between is the half, here is fourth, here is eighth, and then right here is the one sixteenth. And to get from one to D, I go one, two, three, four. So length CD is equal to one and four out of 16 pieces, uh, which is equal to one and one fourth inches again. For example, number three, find measurements by adding. We're finding length EG uh, that would be from E to G, so the, we want the length of the entire segment here. Assume that the figure is not drawn to scale. Uh, that is there telling you you should not find this measure by getting out your ruler. I can, of course, uh, quickly adjust the real world length of this just by zooming in and out, so that never would have been viable in the first place. But I do know that the total length of the segment is equal to the sum of its parts. So E F plus F G, and we are given each part that is two and three fourths plus two and three fourths. So E G is equal to uh, four and six fourths, which makes it five and two fourths, which can reduce to five and one half unit inches. Example number four, find measurements by subtracting. Find length AB, assume the figure is not drawn to scale, don't measure it with your own ruler. AB then is here, uh, let's give it a variable X we can save ourselves some writing. We know uh, total length would be AC, and 
that's equal to the sum of the two partial lengths. So 13.2 meters equals x plus 5.8 meters. Uh, we will subtract 5.8 from both sides. And 5.8 is almost 6. 13.2 minus 6 would be 7.2. Uh, but I had to add an extra 0.2 to get that. So 6, uh, did I say 7? Yeah, because I, I rounded it up to 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. 6 plus 7 is 13. So 7.2 plus 2 more, 7.4. So then A, B equals 7.4 meters. Example number five, write and solve equations to find measures. I would also say it'd be helpful to draw in a diagram. Find value of a and xy if y is between x and z. So there is our diagram, x on one end, z on the other y is between. x, y is 3a. Okay. x, z, uh, that would be the whole distance, is 5a minus 4. And y, z is 14. Okay, now I can see from my diagram, I can set up an equation much like uh, example number 4. I'll have the total distance x, z equals the sum of its parts x, y plus y, z. So the 5a minus 4 is equal to 3a plus 14. Let's gather uh, a's on both sides. Let's subtract 3a. That leaves 2a minus 4 equals 14. Let's add 4 to both sides. 2a equals 18. Continuing on, divide both sides by 2. So 18 divided by 2, a is equal to 9. We are halfway done. We're not done entirely, because that was not the only task. Find value of a and x, y. So now we have to fill in x, y distance. x, y equals 3a. So it's 3 times what we just found, 9. So x, y equals 3 times 9 is 27. Do we have any units here? Nope, just raw numbers alone. And finally, example number 6. In the graph, suppose a segment was drawn along the top of each bar. Uh, so like from here to there. There is a segment. Which states would have segments that are congruent? Explain. Uh, well, then Oklahoma's segment would be 12. Uh, and I don't see any others that are 12. Uh, how about Nebraska is this long? And, oh, that's the same as South Carolina. So then we can say... Nebraska is congruent to South Carolina. Uh, what else? Kansas is way out here, so no way. Uh, Mississippi here is congruent to nobody, and Alabama also congruent to nobody. So those are the only two that are congruent to each other. Uh, what is our explanation? 
they both have the same number of parts, that is to say, 14 in Carolina because both states have 14 parks. I'm guessing that's uh, state parks, right? Not just regular parks. So 14 skate parks. Remember, by definition, congruence is based on measurement. So you must somehow indicate they have the same measure. In this case, number of parks. This concludes the example problems for section 1-2. So long, farewell, enjoy the rest of your day.